All right, so we're gonna make a mitten. Actually, we're gonna make two mittens because we want two mittens to match. So I'm gonna start by putting my hand on one section and I think I'm gonna put the other one here. Okay, so I can fit them on. Now you have smaller hands than I do, so it shouldn't be hard for you to fit your hands on. You could put your hands like, ooh, that fits nice. Okay, so we'll do it like that. Look at that, we got two mittens there. So I'm gonna just put my hand on there. I'm not gonna have my fingers really far apart. I'm just gonna keep my hands like this, and maybe my thumb like that. And I'm gonna go around my hand. I'm gonna leave some space so that I don't trace just on my finger or make a lumpy mitten. That's not gonna be good. So I'll just go and kind of rest my hand on my other hand. And then I'm just gonna go. Ooh, that's good. Now I need to do the other side, but I use this hand to write. So I don't think that's a good idea. So what I can do is I can put my hand the other way. Notice how I'm gonna turn the paper to make it easier rather than turning my arm funny. Now right, let's see. I can go like this. And I need to go in here. Okay. Now I have two mittens. They need a bottom. I think I'm going to go like this. Okay, and one side. And the other side. All right, my mittens need to match. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put a line across here. And that means I gotta put a line across here. Maybe you want, I keep hitting this wall next to me. That's why I'm making a bump there. Um, you're gonna need to decide if you wanna make a line. I decided I wanted to make a line. You could make a section where you're thumb goes like this so my thumb is there maybe on my thumb I'm gonna put a circle so I'm gonna put a thumb on that circle and then we can make a <gasps> that would fit a nice heart nice long heart so I'm gonna put a long heart there and since I did it on the left side I have to do it on the right side I have a thumb on that side and I have a thumb on that side so we're gonna make a match and cut and I think I'm going to separate this little section. And these little sections I make, I can color them in the background and make them match too. So I think this one, ooh, I think this one's going to need some shapes here. I think I'm going to put some rectangles, one on each end. So I got to do the same over here. You can decorate your mittens however you want, but you want to make them so that they're the same on each mitten. Same here, same here. That's it. So symmetrical. All right. Make them so that they can match. They're a, they're a pair. All right. And I think I'm going to make a bow tie. So I'm going to make two lines. I'm going to crisscross like an X. That's going to be a nice little bow tie. And I'll do the same thing over here. Okay, I don't want to get too confusing because it look a little confusing. I think I'm going to have to make a wavy line. Oh, I'm going to make another wavy line. Now I'm going to make it so that I can color it in, which means I'm going to make it a thick wavy line by making two of them next to each other. Ooh, that looks pretty fun. Let's see, I have circle, a heart, a rectangle. I could put, hmm. I don't know what I want to make. I could make a square. Maybe I could make two squares. And then I could put a shape on the inside. What would be a good shape for the inside? Maybe a semicircle? I haven't used one of those. Let's do it. Ooh, it looks kind of like a face. 
All right, now my job is to color it so that it matches on both sides. I'm gonna use markers so that it goes fast. Now I'm gonna color my wavy line orange. And you wanna do a nice job with your coloring. And the is going fast. So I do it there, I gotta do it over here. <laughs> 